listening toward the boat manufacturer, touting a better day for employment, health care, and fuel prices if Republicans seize the White House. Gas prices, oh my Lord. We speak one-on-one -on -one with West. We can be tapping into the natural gas resources. All our mass transit vehicles can be on natural gas, which will help to drive down the cost of gasoline. Only 8% of small business owners are looking to grow and expand their business because of the uncertainty that is out there with our economic situation and with the mandates that are coming down from the federal government. Speaking of Washington, many here ask the same question. Would you be Mitt Romney's VP? What would you say to that? Well, you, you don't say no, of course. Uh, but you have to make sure that it is something for me. Uh, it is something that truly God would want me to do. And so you pray about it and make sure that, you know, God approves of it. And then you got to make sure that your wife would approve of it because that's a huge endeavor for the family as well. Wes says so far, Romney hasn't called. I think that would be great. What's more important, Wes says, is getting people here back to work and to the polls come November. It's the first of many businesses and town halls that the congressman will be holding in the coming weeks. In Fort Pierce, Jenna Ashbach, CBS 12 News. And as for rumors that Sarah Palin could be a vice presidential candidate,